Hey everybody, Manny McFly here. Wanted to uh, do a follow-up video to the Seattle gun tax uh, video. And I wanted to focus on the organization or anti-gun group that was uh, pivotal in the uh, passage of this bill on Monday. And I was able to do a little bit more uh, digging, find a little bit more about the group. It's called uh, Grandmothers Against violence and uh, well actually it's called grandmothers against gun violence in specific uh, they seem to focus they seem to focus on firearms and it looks like this is one of the children of Michael Bloomberg's campaign to basically take the tactics that gun groups have used and turn them against gun groups and go after politician, win over politicians and get uh, anti-gun measures passed, uh, whether it be through, you know, ordinances in small cities and towns or, you know, state, uh, state law, federal law. And uh, it seems that they, they have this blueprint out and they do, they do teach classes and, and help other people form anti-gun groups in their their areas be able to push uh anti-gun agenda and this stuff is uh it's very scary it's uh it's something that we need to pay attention to and uh maybe even come up with a plan to counteract this stuff and this particular group is based in seattle washington the president of the group is margaret uh heldring i was able to find uh very little information on her personally I did some Google searching and I wasn't really sure, you know, who who was who, so I was able to uh, at least put together some information on the the group itself. Sorry, I have some nosy people wandering around looking, trying to see what I'm doing. All right, so the organization itself, Grandmothers Against Gun Violence, in my opinion, I believe it is a a feminist based group. They uh, seem to communicate and work closely with other women's groups and organizations specifically none of the groups that I noticed them working with uh, include men in the the workings of the group it's all purely women and the members of this particular group seem to be all older white women uh, of middle to high income the membership uh, of the group is twenty dollars a year uh, they encourage uh, members to donate as much money as they can beyond their, their yearly membership. They do a lot of marches, but the, the biggest uh, weapon that this group does have is they have an ear in city council in Washington, uh, in Seattle, Washington. And, and that is what led to this bill really being pushed forward with, uh, with, it, with not any, any friction at all. It was an 8-0 vote, went right through, no problem. They organize marches. They uh, they support other groups' marches uh, against uh, guns. And on their um, their mission statement uh, is the same the same bogus nonsense that most uh, anti-gun groups uh, will put out there. That they want to reduce violence. They want to keep guns uh, locked up safely in the owner's home. They want to they want to prevent children from gaining access to firearms. But it's all it's all lies. They really just want to get rid of guns, and and the reason why I can say that is because I've hung out on their their Facebook page, which is uh, just under a thousand uh, likes. Not a lot of activity on there. Uh, your typical uh, anti-gun propaganda posts. Uh, there are some some pro-gunners on there that make comments or post counter news stories that uh, that appear to go against their claims. And uh, a lot of the people in the group are on that page and they're talking about, you know, when they say, you know, let's, let's put forth a measure to force people to lock their guns up in their homes. You'll see a lot of their supporters saying, why not just get rid of guns, period? No one should have a gun. We should ban them. Things like that. So that opened my eyes almost instantly. And I knew that this group is not an anti-gun violence group it is an it is purely an anti-gun group and they want to get rid of guns from law-abiding citizens 
we already know that you cannot get rid of guns. There are more guns on this planet, th on, on this, in this country than people. Uh, so that, that's, that's not even an option. They want law abiding citizens disarmed. Criminals will run free and they're completely okay with that. Um, this bill, uh, is, is just ridiculous. I did coverage on this bill in my previous video. There are uh, some additional details that I have learned since I've made that video. And one, uh, a lot of the local gun shop owners uh, believe that this bill was made specifically to push gun shops out of the city of uh, Seattle. Um, I originally believe that it is a it's a financial bill uh, designed to to raise money and funds that are untraceable uh, for these organizations to do whatever they want with them. But a lot of the, uh, the local gun shops believe that the bill is aimed at specifically shutting down gun shops in Seattle, Washington. Uh, one of the, one of the gun shop owners that spoke up at the, uh, at the event on Monday stated that the bill would cost him $50,000 cash. He would have to take a hit of about $50,000 with this with this increased tax and he said that that would destroy his business and that the bill was set up to do just that and that he was going to have to shut his shop down and move outside of city limits and it's it's very it's very uh frustrating it's very it's just an unconstitutional bill it's a bill designed to destroy citizens because some other citizens don't like what they do and that is not how this country works. I really hope the NRA and other groups uh, really focus on this issue and, and get this knocked out so that other cities don't have to deal with this, uh, this backdoor gun grab. Um, if I come up with any more information, um, I will definitely uh, update the video, but I will have uh, more information uh, on my blog so you can check that out and read through. And uh, thanks for watching.